What's up guys, Captain Dabble here. I know it's been a while. I'm in the office of my work right now. Went to a garage sale today. Oh man, I found some good comics. I'm so excited. I, I looked at the yard sale app, saw a comic book, it's got the kids in the car. We flew, there was like probably like eight long boxes. Every book was a dollar book, didn't matter what book it was. Uh, it was some guy's comic book collection that he was selling, was wife was selling. Um, so yeah, pretty excited, I'll be getting into it. Um, Every book was a dollar, like I said. Uh, some of these are going to be for sale. Captain underscore Dadpool, Instagram, other places too. But I'm just going to run through them, show you guys. Hopefully you can see this okay. I'm just, this is my, I, I had to show you guys. Uh, got New Eaton's number one. I rebagged and boarded all of these so they look a little fancier. New stand edition. Got Wolverine, and these are just going to be all random. Uh, we might see some other Wolverines. Wolverine number two. Um, this first, like half of the stack will probably be for sale. So if you see something you like, let me know. Uncanny X-Men 148, you got Spider-Woman, you got Dazzler, I think, yep. Got Storm, this is a fun one. And I got the Uncanny X-Men 210. Um, this is the, oh, what is the, I can't remember what saga this is. Sorry guys, I, I gotta get back on all this stuff again. I miss comics. This like this lit my bun on fire when I saw this. Like comics, what? So yeah, this is and it's this is in such good shape. I can't X Men two ten. I know it's the beginning of something. I can't remember what, and I feel like an idiot. We got my main man, Doctor Doom. I love this cover. This is like my third copy of this one. This last this one's for sale. Um, one forty five, one Uncanny X Men. Just Doctor Doom, just taking the X Men over. He's got his Lady Storm, he's got his drink, he is ready to go. You know who might stop him is this guy. Wolverine, we've got Wolverine number 17. Really hope everything's in focus. Uh, yeah, Wolverine 17. It's more Wolverine, we've got sad, emo, old Wolverine number three. Another one, these are for sale. Let me guys, I'm, I'm gonna put these for deals too. I'm not trying to do eBay prices. I go off of my old Overstreet price guy. I need a new one. If you guys got a new one, let me know. And I know you got half of you probably like, oh, eBay is the only way to go. But like, you know, one week this looks a thousand dollars, and then they decide not to bring out the movie, so it's like ten dollars. You know, I like Overstreet. It's like this is a good book. It's got good art, good story. It's old Wolverine number four, smoking, he's smoking a doobie. <laughs> he's Canadian. What do you expect? <laughs> um, and they got the New Mutants number twenty six. Um, this is the first appearance. Of, uh, I should have been a little bit more prepared. You know what? I, actually, earlier I was looking through all these on a big bag, and then I was like, oh, this is the first appearance of this guy and this guy. And I can't remember. I know you guys will probably tell me in the comments, hopefully, but sick book. Um, there's a freaking show about this guy, and I can't even remember what it's called. So, yeah, that's. I'm sorry, guys. Legion. New Mutants number 14. I believe this is one of the first appearances of Magic. It actually didn't say I'm an Overstreet guy, but I'm pretty sure this is because I remember seeing this book a lot and I got a couple copies of it. Um, New Mutants number 14. Maybe it might be Younger Magic or the first time you hear her name spoken as Magic instead of her other name. I can't remember. Uh, then we got <laughs> Owl of Light number 34. Like, this is all just like flashing back to me. I'm like, oh, who is this the first appearance of? Um, Lady Deathstrike, I believe. Wolverine's Lady. His ex lady, she comes back, little pissed at him. Uh, you guys are ready for this one? Fourth of July coming up. This one, uh, you know, this is gonna be a Fourth of July special. Captain America number 269, the first appearance of Team America. Team America! Uh, it's got some wrinkles down here. It's kind of lame, but this is a cool book. I love Captain America. My kids were excited to see this. They wanted some Captain America. Got them a couple books. Pick up the Rob Liefeld number one of Captain America for my kid, because I. Uh, that one's like a 50 cent book. Anyways, so I got X Factor number one. This one's in really good condition as well. Um, you know, it's not a hot book, but X Factor number one. Can't go wrong there. Speaking of X Factor, you got X Factor, X Factor number five. Um, this is the first appearance of Apocalypse, I believe. I think he's, this is his first like semi appearance. I think he's like on the first page. And we got Silver Surfer number one. This one's pretty sick. I believe this is volume two. Another one's in great shape. This one might be my favorite. Next, this one next one might be my favorite pickup of the night. I got really excited when I saw this one. And I look, this one doesn't go for that much. Um, I guess not right now. And I don't, I don't know why, but she's one of my favorite characters. 
this book should go for more. Uncanny X Men 158. This is the first time Rogue appears in an X Men book that's not the annual number 10. So, yeah, this is kind of her first appearance, one of them. So, that's another one. Really good shape. Really excited to have that one. I was keeping that one for sure. Uh, I think these next ones will be the ones I keep going from now on. But if you want, you know, hit me offers, trade, sales, whatever. Captain underscore Dadpool, Instagram. I know you heard me. <laughs> the Uncanny X Men 217. Look at that guy. Got the Juggernaut, Dazzler. What a great cover. I'm excited to read that. There was some more Uncanny X Men, and uh, I wanted to pull out my phone just to check my CLZ app to see which ones I needed. But I didn't want her to think I was looking at prices because I don't want to be that guy. There's already a guy in front of me who. I think it kind of seemed like he was trying to scam a free book out of her and not pay her enough, but I could be wrong. He seemed kind of, seemed a little greasy. Uh, so we got Ultimate Spider-Man number one, free comic book day. Uh, I know it's the free comic book day edition, so it's probably not worth anything, but I thought it'd be cool to have Ultimate Spider-Man number one. Imagine it's the same story. Um, these two I might save for last. Those ones are pretty sick. Pretty sick. They're in a little rough shape, though. Um, we got King Size Annual X-Men number five. Like, I want to go back to this garage sale tomorrow morning. My wife found out about my son ratted me out, told my wife I bought a bunch of comics. She's like, don't be buying a bunch of comics. But I really want to go back in the morning and get bored. Because so this, these are, I paid a dollar for each one of these. It's, it's freaking crazy, man. Uh, next up, we got Web of, Spider, Web of Scarlet Spider number one. Uh, nothing significant about this one. But this is a cool Spidey book. Uh, this one was really cool, too. Uh, what if Electra had lived? I always wanted to read this one. I've seen this one. Other people showed this book. I thought that was a cool book. Next up, got some what ifs, more what ifs. What if Doctor Strange were a disciple of Dormammu? You know, doing evil magic. The Dark Arts. Oh, we got a hair on here. Ugh. That's nasty. That's nasty. Oh, another what if. This is what if number one. This is the very first one that they did. Um, what if Spider Man joined the Fantastic Four? This one's a really cool one. I'm excited to read this one. I might have this one already. I don't think so. But this is cool. I like the what ifs. It's always just fun. Like, yeah, what if? Uh, 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 uh. Anyways, uh, got Heroes uh, for Hope, starring the X-Men number one. Today on Instagram this morning, I don't remember who it was. I was flipping through and they were talking about this book. I was like, oh, that's a really cool book. I want to check that out. And then I find it today. Like, what? That's crazy. Almost done, guys. I know this is a long one. I hope you're almost. I hope you're watching. This is bringing the heat right here with Quest Probe. You want to get a probe? You got to go on a quest featuring the Hulk, number one. Um, this one looks like a fun one. I don't know if he's going after the Infinity Stones. I'm not sure what these are uh, or what the Quest Probe is. You know, he's standing behind the Hulk. The Hulk looks a little angry. Another standing behind him guy is Mysterio. Standing behind Spidey, and he's like, whoa, am I seeing two of him? Ugh. But it's not, it's not the first time Mysterio heard that. <laughs> got him. So yeah, I got number two. Fortunately, I didn't get number three, so I'm pretty bummed about that. Um, this will be another one that will be fun to read, because I've never even seen these before. Um, and then, uh, got a few books left. Captain America number 227. Uh, Captain America runs into a, an army of red skulls. That should be fun to read. I don't know what he's going to do about that. He's, he better call Team America. That's what he should probably do. Um, and then we're coming up. This is another one I saw on Instagram after the garage sale. And I was like, whoa, what a coincidence. Um, this is the Punisher issue one of, the, of a limited series. I think this is like number one Punisher. I could be wrong. Um, it's from 1986. There might be a, a series before this. Um, but yeah. And then these are the last two. I uh, say these two because I was I got so excited when I saw these. Now that I got them home, they're in pretty rough shape, but it's still really sick to have these books. You got Fantastic Four seventy five, Silver Surfer down there, Galactus. Um, I really like what the Fantastic Four and Silver Surfer stuff. Like that's like, the old stuff, so much fun to me. I really want to get them, but they're they're just so expensive. You're never gonna get them, but when you, if you can get them for a dollar, you gotta get them. Then this one, I think it's probably most excited about. Just the cover and everything. Fantastic Four number 56. Uh, with the Murderous Claw. Master of Sound. You know, uh, I think there's a Silver Surfer appearance in this one too. This one, another one, if this was in really good shape, but like, woo. I, I, you know, I, I, hopefully I can sell some of these books, make my money back. Keep 
a bunch of them, read them, read them, and then sell them. Don't tell anyone to read them, though. But anyways, guys, yeah, that's it. It's uh, Captain Dadpool. Thanks for watching. Sorry it's been a while. I'm really trying to get back into comics. It's just the comic shop around here is kind of lame. And... But if I can keep finding stuff like this, whew, you guys are going to see. But thanks for watching.